Vegas and everybody with a brain in their head is picking Kyle Larson as the favorite to win the championship, but find out what odds they're laying the other drivers. Coming up next. So I found this article on JSKI, and if you haven't visited JSKI, that's a great site for racing information and news. It's one I go to a lot for paint schemes and all kinds of stuff, so uh, check out JSKI. That is where I got this, but all right, let's get into it. First off, they're laying Kyle Larson 7-4 to four odds. That is by far the worst odds. Chase Elliott is next with 13-2. to two. Denny Hamlin at 7-1, and Kyle Busch and Martin Truex round out the top five at both eight to one odds i think any of these guys would actually be a pretty good pick this season because i mean it's pretty obvious that the champion is most likely going to be a gibbs or hendrick car with an outside possible chance of mm, a roger penske deal and speaking of roger penske here are the next set you got Keselowski and Logano at both 10 to 1. Uh, Bowman, another Hendrick driver at 14 to 1. Then you have Harvick, Byron at 16 to 1, and Blaney at 18 to 1. So all of those except for Harvick are also Hendrick and or Penske. Then rounding out this list, your absolute underdogs, uh, Christopher Bell at 22 to 1. Kurt Busch at 33 to 1. Eric Almarola, everybody's favorite right now, at 50 to 1. And Austin Dillon, who's not even in the playoffs right now, at 80 to 1. And Tyler Reddick at 100 to 1. What a level of disrespect for Tyler Reddick. Getting worse odds to win the championship than a guy who than, who's not even in it right now, his teammate Austin Dillon. What a level of disrespect. Holy crap. Uh, Michael McDowell at 150 to 1 and Ross Chastain at 150 to 1 also. So those are your odds, your underdogs, and all that good stuff. Uh, but that, I thought that was really interesting. I mean, freaking Austin Dillon's not in the playoffs and he's getting laid better odds than Tyler Reddick. So I guess this is Vegas' way of saying they're picking Reddick over, uh, I mean, they're picking Dillon over Reddick to get into the playoffs. So I, found, I thought that's pretty interesting. Uh, but let me know down below who, who you would put your money on, who's your favorite. Uh, I'm going with Kyle Larson. I think he's having the best season. And I think, I mean, the playoffs are unpredictable, but I think at this point, uh, I think he's the best driver. Maybe Chase Elliott gets it. I don't know. But uh, I'm, I'm, I'm all in on the Larson train this year. I think he's going to get it. But uh, like I said, let me know down in the comments who you think is going to get the championship. If you like the content, please subscribe. It helps me out a whole lot, and I really appreciate it. And other than that... Thanks for your time. Peace.